Do you know what the RH blood group system is? Well, it's a key human blood group system. Discovered by the keen minds of Karl Landsteiner and Ace Weiner back in 1940. Their groundbreaking work led to the identification of RH antigens, distinctive markers found in the membrane of our red blood cells. These RH antigens became the basis for classifying human blood into two types, RA positive and RA negative. You might be wondering, why RA? Well, it's an intriguing story. You see, the RH blood group system owes its name to the rhesus monkeys. Fascinating creatures, aren't they? It's their blood that was used in the defining research that identified the RH antigens in human red blood cells. So, every time you hear Arch, think of our primate friends who played a part in this significant discovery. So, the RH blood group system is a crucial component of our blood makeup. So, what exactly are RH antigens, you might ask? Well, let's dive into this fascinating topic and unravel the mystery. RH antigens, or RA factors as they are also known, are components discovered on the surface of our red blood cells since their discovery. 49 different RH antigens have been identified. However, the spotlight often falls on just five of these, the D, C, C, E, and E antigens. These five are considered clinically significant, meaning they play a major role in our health and medical treatments. Among these five, the RHD antigen is the superstar. It's highly immunogenic, which in simple terms means it sparks a strong response from our immune system. This particular antigen has been the subject of numerous studies and tests due to its association with hemolytic reactions. Hemolytic reactions occur when our immune system destroys red blood cells, a process that can lead to serious health complications. But where do these RH antigens come from? They're found in the transmembrane proteins, mainly in ion channels. These are essentially the gateways allowing ions to move in and out of our cells. The RH antigens are encoded or written into our genetic code by two specific genes, the RHD gene and the RHCE gene. You might be wondering, why does all this matter? Well, understanding RH antigens is crucial in areas like blood transfusion and pregnancy. The presence or absence of the RHD antigen, in particular, can have serious implications. For instance, if RH negative blood is transfused into a person with RH positive blood, it could trigger a harmful immune response. That's why it's so important for us to understand these RH antigens. They are not just abstract scientific concepts, but crucial players in our health and well-being. That's a quick look at the complex world of RH antigens. While it might seem a bit intimidating at first, the more we learn about these antigens, the more we can appreciate the intricate workings of our own bodies. Ever wonder what it means to have RH positive or R negative type blood? Let's dive into the intriguing world of RH antigens. If your red blood cells, or RBCs, carry the RHD antigen, your blood is classified as RH positive type. Conversely, if your RBCs lack this antigen, you're considered to have RH negative type blood. But what does this mean for your immunity? It's fascinating, really. Individuals with RD antigen in their RBCs lack the anti-DR antibodies in their blood plasma. This changes, however, once the R-D antigen is introduced into a bloodstream that lacks it. The body then synthesizes anti-DR antibodies, ready to fight off what it perceives as a foreign invader. These antibodies can cause a hemolytic transfusion reaction, with anti-D being the most potent and capable of causing a fatal immune reaction. So, whether you're RH positive or negative can have significant implications. Why is it essential to know your RH type? Let's dive right in. Understanding your RH type is crucial due to the potential for hemolytic transfusion reactions. These reactions can be triggered by anti-D, anti-C, anti-C, and anti-E antibodies, which are produced when RH antigens are introduced into a bloodstream that does not naturally carry them. Among these antibodies, anti-D is particularly potent and can cause a potentially fatal immune reaction. Imagine this, someone with RH negative blood is given a transfusion of RH positive blood. Their body, 
recognizing the Rh antigen as a foreign substance, will start producing anti-D antibodies, leading to a severe immune response. This is why blood typing before transfusion or other medical procedures is so important. It's not just about ensuring compatibility, but also about preventing serious, potentially life-threatening reactions. As we've seen, knowing your RH type isn't just a fun fact, it's a potentially life-saving piece of information.